Okay, so we arrived to Portugal yesterday. We went into this campsite, uh, which is not that big. I'm going to film it for you. Um, and then I was working. Well, tell them why we actually at the campsite and not free camping. Because you're not allowed to free camp in Portugal. Mm -hmm. You can get a 600 euro fine. So, um, buckle up with money <laughs> mm -hmm. and pay for campsites. So now we paid 15 euros each for two nights, right? Yep. Um, so we do have to pay for two vehicles all the time um, because we have two vans. But we did get a little bit of discount this time because we're actually standing in one spot because we parked so closely. So I'm going to show you that too. Um, but yeah, so we're in Portugal now. I've just been working since we got here, literally. And Andreas has been fixing his paramotor and, and stuff. So now we're having lunch and then we're going to go out to look in the area. And that's going to be really nice. And maybe take a walk on the beach and see how it looks down here. And then tomorrow we are off to the new place, which is Lagos. Mm. If we can find a campsite, we're trying to figure that because we don't want to pay 40 euros a night per person. Mm. I'm really, actually, I'm really, really happy that he have a bike in Portugal at this moment. I've never said that I'm really happy for the bike, but I think I'm really happy for the bike now. Because when you're standing campsites, you're not really like, you know, in the center or straight on the beach. Um, so now we can actually just take the bike to the beach and enjoy the whole place anyway. So thanks, babe. <laughs> um, okay, let's show you the surroundings. Reception, um, shower and toilet, but you do have to pay for it. And then here's this one camping spot. So, as you see, between that line and that line is one spot. So we just take up one because we park so close. And then all of the other motorhomes and vans are around here. No more fun than that. And this is what we pay for. <laughs> Yeah, let's go into Faro and explore the city instead, grab a coffee or a drink and um, yeah, because we're going to leave tomorrow anyway, so yeah, let's just explore the area a bit. <laughs> Obrigado. That's what we say here in Portugal. Obrigado. 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 You say obrigada. And I say obrigado. What happened with my boyfriend? Because <laughs> No, I thought we need this in the van. It's a mini air hockey or football or, um, what do you call it? Pool. <laughs> oh, air hockey. How fun is that? Literally. Oh, this, I found, I found something for you, babe. <laughs> please, can you buy this? Can you please buy this? It would really fit your face. <laughs> it really fits your face. <laughs> Both are green. <laughs> Happy babe. Okay, so first stop in Portugal. It's getting to an end. <laughs> but we are now leaving Faro and we are ready to go to Lagos. No. 
No, we have a stop on the way. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna park in Lagos. Otherwise, yes. it's just a so stop on the way. We're going to Bengavil uh, Caves. That's just like a, a stop on the way, mm -hmm. which is really, really, really beautiful from, from the pictures. And it's a tourist attraction, yes, but you normally the tourist takes boats out, like motorboats, but we're gonna get a kayak, hopefully get there and then you can actually like get off as well inside this massive like cave beach yeah. it's really cool let's see it's a surprise you're gonna see it so what do we think about faro mm. no no um but no not our favorite place so no. i'm looking forward to the other places here in portugal <laughs> didn't like the city really i mean yeah it's nice special. but there's nothing special with no. it they had good crepes good chocolate crepes and uh Ice cream. <laughs> okay, can we go now? Yes. Ready? Do you know we could do better? So take a chance and run with me. Everywhere we go, we turn to paradise. All I know is that I need you in my life. Let me show you how we do. Okay, so on our way to Lagos, we stopped at this beautiful place and don't know what's going on here. We're gonna go out to <laughs> Penagil Cave. That is just us. We just rented one of these beautiful ones and we're gonna go out and see the cave. I'm gonna be in a kayak with you. I don't know if I trust him. <laughs> Look at this, it is absolutely beautiful. Are you ready, babe? Doing the paddling because I'm filming. I'm the camera crew. I got the best job ever. <laughs> Woohoo! Good. Let me show you how it feels. Just say the word. Everywhere we go, we'll turn to the dice. All I know is that I need you in my life. Let me show you. Wow. I set out on a road that I built with my own two hands. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. That's just so cool. <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. How good are we at paddling oh, or kayaking? So awesome. <laughs> We're like speedboat. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Oh, these are so beautiful. Oh wow, I messed up, man. Don't know which. Babe, I want to try to go in there, like where it's like rocks and stuff. We are skilled. I think we can do this. We just came from there. No, 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 no. That's a one. Don't know what you're talking about, but I don't want to hit any rocks. Um, but this was absolutely beautiful. So this was a really, really good stop on the way. That's a good idea from my Down side, south. Right? Yes, but you are, guide. you are the tourist guide. So you are in charge of looking up the good places to visit. And I'm just following, so I love that. That's teamwork. And uh, really, really recommend this place. But if you go here, do not go on the boat tour because they just go into the cave and then out. It's not worth it. It's just- well, you don't get off the boat. No, just like this, you, you can't walk out. Nose in and then they reverse out. Yeah. And then they can keep on going. Yeah. But we could take it up on the beach and then walk around, so that was much more beautiful. And now I'm really, really wet on my hands, so I'm gonna put the camera down before and, drop it in the and, ocean. And, and before you turn that off, this is really good for relationship, like to be in the same boat trying to do something as a team. Really good. We're doing good as well, right? I think we're doing really good as a paddle team. <laughs> Okay, let's do advanced and paddling there between the rocks. No, let's go for a coffee. <laughs> so there's two ways of looking at the hole. <laughs> 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 I 
I was about to say entering the cave, but that's not true. Uh, but we took the first one, which was paddling in. And now we're walking and we're gonna look down into the hole. Let's see how it looks from above. I never thanked you for putting your faith on a bomb like me, yeah. And wherever you are, I think it's who you were meant to be. Uh. Baby, we're children of sorrow, we're meant to be free. Honey, we're not like the other, no reason to be. Welcome to Lagos! We just checked into a campsite which was really really weird. We're not wearing any face mask as you see because he said as long as you keep two meter distance you should be fine. So we're just waiting for the police to say something. It actually drove past us, didn't say anything. And at the camp we have to say, like we came That's in so with two weird. vans, we stayed at one spot and we're like, can we get some discount? And he's like, no, 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 no. And we came down with the, the motorbike and he's like, well, you have to pay for the motorbike as well. And I'm like, well, the motorbike is inside the van. He's like, yeah, but you have it with you. I'm like, well, so you get, if you have, like, if you have clothes or if you have if a you bicycle. If you have a bicycle, whatever, you like, pay for that too. He's like, uh, yeah, you pay for a dog as well. It's so weird. So weird. And I'm like, do you have Wi-Fi? Yeah, but that's extra too. And what else did we have? Um, do you have no, oh, electricity? Extra. Electricity extra. Everything is extra. It's so extra. what do we actually pay for? Parking? Yeah. That's that's it. So weird. But hey, it's really, really beautiful here. And I gotta get this. This is amazing. We're gonna stay here for these two nights, but I think we're gonna get stuck around here for longer. I can't handle the beauty. And I'm not talking about your ass, even though I'm filming it. <laughs> okay, so we ended up on a bad trip. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. Well, I thought we got a sweet deal, and I mean, this place is amazing. So now we're gonna have a trip around. It's uh, so beautiful. Delicious, like this is this is crazy. Just it feels look, like being in heaven. I need at, to turn the camera. Yeah, yeah. Look at this.
<laughs> Going under. Or I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> the best driver in town. <laughs> to build this to a proper rooftop terrace but this works Pillows, oh imagine blanket. having like barbecue night up here yeah <sighs> on that's the what beach. i said we're gonna we're gonna build this to a proper rooftop terrace yep, yep. <laughs> we're gonna enjoy a day in lagos today yeah just the city the beach maybe having some ice cream i found the best ice cream place as uh. usual when it's saturday but yeah i cannot wait to have this day and it's gonna be amazing and we also i'm gonna take him out on a day tonight Ooh. Yeah, so let's enjoy coffee and then some breakfast and then we're out of here. <laughs> Yay! Lagos. So far, I love Lagos. This is amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah, now we are in the marina of Lagos and this is really nice as well. Time to leave Lagos and this campsite and we're gonna head down even more south to don't really remember the name of it but um, I'm gonna share it anyway and um, yeah let's go to a new camping it's so weird to always be in campings This campsite is going to be so interesting to see because it says like alternative living and we're completely out in the middle of nowhere in the bush but I am really excited
Andrea started to fly the drone when we went into the parking spot and then now he just ran off and said I lost the drone and it's so windy so I have no idea what's going on and they can't tell us if we can park here for the night they have space but they had one case of Covid so they don't know if they allow new um, new people in so the answer is yes he lost his drone and we're now drone hunting to the bikes. Yes. So, wish us luck. I'm gonna take you with us on this journey. Uh, Is this yeah. someone's land? Yep. Yeah. We can just knock the door and ask. in here. Who's over there? It might be somewhere here. Oh babe, I found it. Oh thank God. That looks like a pretty safe landing. Awesome. I think you found it. Wait. Damage at all? No? Not the wings. Nothing. Oh, okay. No. I put it down safe and sound, babe. Wow. Well, you're a pilot. Pure luck that was. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god, put it out in the backpack before destroying it on the walk. Yes, oh my god. <laughs> How happy are you now? Happy, but I'm in pain. <laughs> I'm bleeding. Yeah. I'm bleeding on my. Like it's ripping holes like all over their face because it's just terrible to walk around here. I know. But we're I feel on our it. Way back. Yep. Safe and sound. Safe and sound. I'm so angry at myself to let this happen at all. But I did not know that the wind was going to be so strong and did not want to return at all because the wind was too strong. I was having full speed and it barely was moving. I'm lucky I didn't put it in the ocean because I was over the ocean when I was at be careful with the wind and the drone, guys. Now but we, we got to, it. Now we have to escape. Ow. Yeah, okay, bye. Okay, so, drone found. I haven't even had breakfast, so... Making lunch now, it's 2.30. <laughs> And we're exhausted. <laughs> we're completely ripped up by these bushes. Yes, yeah, so I'm And I was like, so what's the plan now? And he's like, can we have food first? <laughs> but then we then check... we'll make up a plan because yeah. we're a little bit late now from, from what we wanted yeah. to do. We had a good plan this morning to make it all happen, but now the drone chase. Is Sometimes it doesn't go as planned, and that's okay, that's completely fine. It's part of the adventure. Yeah, and um, yeah, so we're gonna see what we're gonna do. We checked into this parking spot. It's, it's a really beautiful place. They didn't know if they were gonna let us in because they had a COVID case, so we're not gonna drink beers with anyone bum, tonight. Bum, bum, bum. Please, can we stay for ourselves and not be social today because I don't want to be social. Okay, well, then you're gonna be in quarantine and not be with me for two weeks. Bye. <laughs> Okay, let's have some food and then let's see what we're gonna do here. Time to leave this place. So we just stayed one night at this uh, quite cool camping, but it is like a four and a half hour drive to Lisbon. So I don't want to drive that in one day because I want to work and 
where I get and you know all of that so I'd rather just that dog is not moving um so yeah I just want to drive like more like shorter trips so now we have like two two and a half hour drive but we're gonna stop for food shopping on the way and we are gonna stay in a farm tonight which is gonna be so cool so let's say bye to this place and we are out for the next adventure people really don't camp here they actually live here <laughs>